<laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode. Oh, so what were we talking about? Thermal expansion? That's right, we've got, we went over the induction smelter and the pulverizer in last week's episode. Uh, last week's. In the last episode. I don't know how how I'm going to be spacing these apart, so. Um, so what do we, uh... What I what I what did we come up with? The fact that you can smelt down ore with sand and it gives you two ingots with a chance for rich slag. And of course if we get one of those rich slag, then we can actually turn the rich slag around. And yeah, so we got rich slag, then we can take that rich slag and we can combine that with a pulverized ore. So if we get two dust here, and then we put it back over here with the rich slag, then we can actually end up tripling our ore. Now take, keep in mind that this does require a little bit of power, uh, and of course we got some more of the regular slag which we can turn into something useless like rock wool. <laughs> but that's with the with the power used by these sterling engines. Now these are basically just little coal fired engines. Now <clears throat> thermal expansion also has uh, this right here which is called the magmatic engine. And what the magmatic engine does is it basically it runs on lava. <laughs> Magma. Now let's go ahead and go over how do we craft this thing first off. Well again we're coming back to our basic design we got, looks like we got a piston in the bottom. We've got 10 gears this time, which 10 gears are a stone gear surrounded by 10 ingots. <laughs> Not 10 of them, only 4 of them. <laughs> Bad pun, I know. And <laughs> what we're going to use is 10 bars across the top and then this thing right here, which looks like a transmission coil. Okay, very similar to the other redstone coil that we had before, but this one's made with silver. So this is going to require a little bit more resource, resources, so you might have to go do a little bit more caving for this guy, but I think the payoff is totally worth it. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to set ourselves up a little tank. Actually, let's get a bunch of those. Now, a tank, a tank is really simple. It's just simply crafted by eight glass blocks, like you're making a glass chest. Now, what the tank can do is simply what it says. The tank is for holding liquid. So if we go and get ourselves some lava source blocks, <laughs> we start filling this thing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Noob. <laughs> Guess I should have got lava buckets, huh? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's try this again with a lava bucket though. And we're going to fill this bad boy up. Ding 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 ding. Boom. Wow. I'm sure if you could count the clicks, that was like, I think it's 16 lava buckets per um, per tank. So we're looking at 48 buckets of lava there. All right, so let's click back down to here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically pump lava into our little machine here. Now let's say we want to use this machine instead of the Sterling engine. So we pop that bad boy off, stick it on there. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to need a few pipes. Now I've got conductive pipe. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. We're going to set our engine right here. Okay? And what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to get ourselves some pipe. Now first we're going to do is get waterproof pipe. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need one wooden waterproof pipe, and then a couple, co oh, not cobblestone, I don't like cobblestone, stone waterproof pipe. 
Stone is a little bit faster, <clears throat> and what you'll what you'll find with these pipes is that over longer distances they like to slow down. So a wooden pipe is called is basically a suction pipe. Um, you you put that on uh, any kind of wooden pipe. You'll put it on. You could put a wooden transport pipe on a chest or a wooden waterproof pipe on a tank. And the the wooden pipe is what draws the item out of whatever you're attaching to. Of course, the stone just goes over distances and will connect to uh, our machine here. So. Is that a... St oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I put down a sterling engine. That sterling engine's not going to take our our lava. What we need is the magnetic engine. What we need is the magnetic engine. There we go. Now, see how it connected? Very nice. Now, what you see here is it's got storage for four buckets of lava. Each bucket of lava is about 1,000 MB, which I believe stands for magma bucket or something of that sort. <laughs> now, in order to get that lava into there, we need to find a way to to suck out of this tank. One of the easiest things to do is called a redstone engine, which is actually one of the cheapest engines you can make. Making this bad boy, <clears throat> all it requires is wood, a piston, and a piece of glass. Two wood gears, wood planks across the top. Simple. But, of course, it's such a, a light machine that it doesn't do much of anything. Um, it takes a long time to get warmed up, and what you'll find is that it can go really slow. Oh, there's one bucket of lava. Oh, there's two buckets of lava. <laughs> and so it starts filling up our magma engine. Now, of course, I put down that engine first, and I, now I don't have a way to to change the direction of it. So what I need to do is I need to get a wrench. Uh, the wrench, oops, the wrench is made simply by three iron ingots and a piece of stone gear in the middle. Now, you're not, this wrench is, is really useful in switching around pipes, switching around machines, switching around now. Of course, it's not going to do anything now because I don't have it connected to anything. So if I take and put a piece of this conductive pipe right next to it, Conductive pipe, of course, is piping that conducts electricity, basically. Um, which, of course, if you make a regular wooden transport pipe, which is just two wood planks and a glass block in the middle, and then you attach, uh, craft it with redstone, it becomes conductive. So now that I've got this conductive pipe attached to it, and I hit the machine with a wrench, you'll see that it changes directions. Now, magma engines are one of those engines that you have to have that redstone signal to turn it off. Otherwise, it'll keep firing as soon as it's got lava. You fill it up with lava, it starts firing. So what we've got there is we've got the wooden conductive pipe, which, again, sucks off of whatever it's attached to, right? So we, a, a waterproof sucks liquid. A conductive pipe will suck energy. And then I just put a couple stone conductive pipes down, and I run these over to the back of my machine. Now, this is kind of interesting. I don't know if it, if the Sterling engine will actually run off of another's energy, but it looks like it's connecting, and that's usually a giveaway if, is if it works with it, if it connects, but I don't think it's going to work with it. But what a lot of times what you can do is you can piggyback machines. Um, so I could actually take and put another engine and another engine, and you could line these all up together so that all of the energy feeds into one, so you'd have the power of three into that same one. Um, Obviously, we're not going to need that, and what I can actually do is hook up both machines to this exact same engine. So now, no matter which machine I want to run, I just come over here and I flick the switch, uh, flick the switch for the for the magnetic engine. And what you'll see is this little tiny blue line start feeding into the machines. That means they're charging them up. Now, you got to be real careful with this because this magnetic engine, if it's left on and unattended and your machines are full, it'll actually blow up your lines. What happens is that energy that comes off the machine starts building up in this line. And let's go ahead and let's see if I can get that to demonstrate. I know it happens with gold pipes, and I'm not positive if it will happen with these stone pipes. Um, typically, a gold pipe that I've gotten here, a gold conductive pipe, is more for, you know, higher speed, accelerated, everything more, you know, reliable. Um, 
but stone's a little bit cheaper generally because each one of these gold pipes has to be crafted from two pieces of gold as opposed to two pieces of stone which can you know be made pretty easily just by cooking them down in a furnace um, <clears throat> so that's what we've got here is our magma engine now magma lava is kind of hard to come by you know obviously when you first start out until you get down to say you know bedrock level or you know anything below level 20 i think level 10 is a really nice layer for a lot of the lava pools now once you get down there you can find means of pumping it up because there are mods for for pumping lava to the surface which i'll probably cover that in a later episode but um once you get the lava obviously putting it into a machine like this is incredibly useful because as you can see it's filling these bad boys up pretty fast let's say if i wanted to put I don't want a whole stack. There we go. I'll put 14 of these in there, 15 of these in here with some sand, and you'll see that that energy's almost keeping up with it. That one engine is almost keeping up with two of these machines. Obviously, it's not going to because I got both of them running, but let's go ahead and pull this out now. Pull this out let them build up here because we're going to see if we can get this to explode. Like I said, I know the gold conductive pipes will do it, but I don't know if these will. And look at that. I've already got enough rich slag for two more of these sets of ingots. So that'll give me, let's see, two of those. We'll put two of the, oh, I'm sorry, it'll turn two of them into, uh, I guess it's two sets of two, I think. So it'll turn four of those into six. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're getting close. Okay, I'll go ahead and break that until we get this all full, filled up, alright? Alright, as you can see, this one's getting real close. Let's see how our other one's doing. It's almost as close. Not quite. But of course, if this one fills up first, we're going to see a spike, and this one's going to be almost instant. Oh, there it goes. All right, so they're both full. Now look at this. See how that was just a, it was just a thin line before, but now it's it's a thick line. Why is that so thick? Looks like it's barely contained. Wow, it's it's a backup of energy. It's it can't get much bigger, can it? Oh no. It's completely filled the pipe. Completely filled the pipe. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. So stone pipes seem to be invulnerable. However, if I were to put a gold pipe in there, if I were to put a gold pipe in there, I need a bunker. Because that one maybe? Huh. Well then maybe it has something to do with the Greg Tech mod that we've got. Or what some other mod variant because on the Minecraft FTB pack that we're playing on the server I play on. You leave a magnetic engine on too long like that, and it explodes on you. So, kudos to you, Dire Wolf, for choosing a more stable mod pack. Now, keep in mind, of course, that we are, we are providing excess energy right now, because what we're doing is the energy is bleeding off this engine, and it's not going anywhere. Um, we're going to leave that going for a while, just to see if it blows up, but 
normally, you, obviously, you wouldn't want to do this because now you're just wasting precious lava energy. Because every time this thing gives off so much, it, it'll dip down and it sucks up more lava out of our pool. And you can see that just in the time I've been doing this demonstration, we've already lost almost half a tank. Not half a tank tank, but half of a block. Like eight buckets, seven buckets of lava, something like that. Hmm. Now you make me nervous. I'm going to move my project table. Now i got two project tables. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I appreciate the support. If you if you enjoyed what you what you saw, give me a like, maybe subscribe. Um, hopefully, there's going to be a lot more of these videos coming. And of course, if there's anything uh, you guys would like to see in future episodes, I've actually included uh, a Google form down below in the description that you guys can fill out for uh, suggestions slash feedback. So you guys tell me how I'm doing and what you guys like. Uh, I appreciate all the support and. Stay tuned for more.